Alright guys, welcome back to another video and we are going to be continuing Life is Strange before the storm. Pretty much we're going to be playing this whole episode now in this video. Try to finish it off. I think it might be half an hour left, but we'll see. I'm going to try to talk more in this game, but it's not much to talk about. Okay. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? I have no idea. Guess we're getting a flashback. Wine bottle. I don't feel drunk. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Nope. She left me, I guess. All right. I guess I did that. Sure you did. Say, that was some fight. <laughs> she nearly took your head off. There's Rachel. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. What's past is prologue and shit. Sometimes people need you, though. I mean, I don't Even think when they don't admit it. I'm the one that needs her. She doesn't need me. She's already famous and everything. I mean, I guess that's how he, how he died, but Chloe wasn't with him, obviously. We just slept with in his car. That's sweet. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm almost be worried now. You guys check the messages. Nobody the episode's done. I guess we're gonna have time to go into the second episode. I want this game finished. I really hope the second one's better. Or this game gets better. But I didn't I don't know, it's kinda slow. First one was much better. Who is it? Oh well, I guess this is it for the first episode then. Yep, it looks like it. But, but then again, I, I'm not really sure. Maybe not. Okay. It's fine by me. Well, she's right here. I guess. Yep. Let me just, um... Oh, she's crying too? I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. 
Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? Well, I that said was my dad. Oh, all right. And that woman was definitely not oh. my mom. Oh. Oh. The worst part is... I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... That's what she was. I didn't know what it was. Upset. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I thought I could catch him or something. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. <coughs> I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was going to die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. And I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and Oh, okay. He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him. Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Needing you, this friendship, it means more to me than you could possibly imagine. I just want you to know that I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Holy Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... I'm so sorry, Rachel. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags, I'm serious. Oh no, we're not gonna do. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. I mean, okay. Uh, okay. I guess.
I borrow your lighter? Of course. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna burn the photo. Guess we have a friend now. That was unnecessary, dude. Okay. Is the episode end or something? What, what is this? That's Nathan Prescott. Cool story, bro. Oh. Alright, this is the first episode. I'm glad it's over. It's over. At least. Awake, dear heart. Exit straight away. Refresh. Please. I want to see the choices thing. Yes, okay. You and 65%. You attacked. 65% people attacked. Alright. You and 64% were kind of joyous. Okay. You and 14% stay out of the state, out of the fight. Oh. 28% of people. You told me to you're just friends. I, mean, I missed that part. I mean, like I didn't. I realized later on that I did the wrong choice because it was either a good friendship or I thought the other one was like the opposite of it. But it was actually more than friends, which is obvious. I well, I I didn't see that time. But 14% people stay out of the fight. The reason I did that because I already know what he's gonna do later on when Max comes. I already know, you know, the things he does to girls in the future. No oh. one steals from me. 
I want my fucking money. What more? Life is strange. Okay, next episode starting in five, four, three. That's okay. I mean, I, I got time to play another half an hour or something for the next in the next episode. No problem by me. I want to kind of see, you know, what's, this game. I get excited now. I mean, we're almost halfway there. Like this is this episode was two hours long. Oh, I can skip this one. I remember in this game, you can skip. Never mind. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! So that was Rachel. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hal. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, <coughs> they are really going to <coughs> You remember that guy that we saw under the tree <coughs> with that woman? That was my dad. <coughs> and that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh yeah, we have this meeting with principal. They're waiting for us to come. Who's waiting? Oh, there it is. But Rachel. Miss Price, how good oh. of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My my shift ran late at the diner and then just sorry. That's uh, Rachel's mom and Let dad, I guess, proceed. and then one of okay. you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Uh, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Don't screw up. Uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did? In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it will become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Preston. No. If involved means not sticking out my neck for Blackwell's richest ass child. I didn't realize that was a crime. Your lack of awareness does not absolve you of anything, Miss Price. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. No, I didn't even bully him. I just didn't Maybe even Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? Chloe, now is not the time. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. 
We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday no. was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See... Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Yeah, sure. Very cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. And we're gonna get expelled. Price. Yeah, fine. And I don't fine. wanna... Yes, it was her idea. But it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber. Based on what you've just told me, I have grounds to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Oh no! Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or... Coerce her? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Go, Mom. You have <laughs> no right to treat Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I get it. This is about Blackwell's money troubles. Will you be dragging every other scholarship student into your office today as well? <laughs> Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years. You should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. Oh. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't no, tell me not... how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes. I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next. 
Unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. No, I'm gonna take the bit. No I'm gonna take the bit. Is Rachel missing the play for me? But thanks to her acting skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Seeing that this is your point, okay. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. <laughs> you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. No, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna do it. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not one of your sycophants. I'm a lone wolf, and you're a little red riding hood. <laughs> Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Fine. I shouldn't have pulled Rachel out of class. If I'd known she couldn't handle it, I would have gone it alone. Why speak up, Miss Price? Your words do not exonerate Rachel, but they do further implicate you. Why? To tell the truth, for once. Something that happens so rarely around here. Everybody lies. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but okay, I appreciate good. honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed yes. from the play. Save at least. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. Well, and now you are expelled. Oh, what? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price, Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Well, <sighs> I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I see you in the parking lot. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. <laughs> Where is it then? Trash. Oh. 
Chloe Price 10 almost. What is uh, English book trash? Trash. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe, hey, you had to borrow your stash to spread this pretend you know. I promise I'll get you back next week. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? Alright. What are we gonna do? The bathroom. So it's her about everything. I think with live streams one, it was all in the wall stuff, bathroom. How does she come back? I mean, she she doesn't get expelled in live streams one. Maybe way to Episode 2 Brave New World <laughs> oh, David's there as well. He's going to start a screen. Blows that meaning had a sucked, you had a weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday was worth it. Okay, I guess. Awesome. It's about damn time. David. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, 
You don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. I mean, you he's... A scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me. Your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the <coughs> incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. I mean, I can do that. Incident? What incident? I'll just say we had a rather frank discussion. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button press. I am glad to hear it. Now That'd be on, nice. I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. I mean... Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I don't have anything on me, right? Let's comply. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly? Sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy. Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you. But that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A all new right. chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh... No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I... I, I know I fucked up. I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you, and you need me, and I know that. 
But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. I mean... A million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There's no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. What's happening? How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Which you should be here any minute, probably. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. Oh, they was trying to do things such a tool. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can't you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. She's in space. Okay, maybe I need my daughter back. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Get battery in truck. Wonder if I can find one around here. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Any batteries here? If there's any batch, it's gotta be in the car, right? In the hood. What are you trying to hide under there, hood? I gotta turn on the car first. Turn the button. 
the latch. I'm gonna pull it. There we go, got the battery. Here we go, the pick of the litter. Now the hand is fresh to look this. Return battery. See the objective. It's really, it's much better. I actually go where I'm supposed to go, like straight after. I don't have to inspect other things, investigate and stuff. Did that work? Okay. love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Clear price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. A lot of things I do. Don't know if I can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grab something from home. Then I'll meet you in the jaguar. Really soon better so I, I'm gonna cut this uh, right here I'm gonna play on the next video of Life is Strange continue and I hope you guys like